Ah, you return, Warden. Is there more you would know from Orzammar's memories? That is an odd request, especially for one so new to our city. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn two thousand years of tradition? What sort of charities do you mean? Traditionally, that is their extended family's responsibility, but sometimes people fall through the cracks. Very well. He may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? These are Harrowmont lands promised here. But these are not the deals we approved at the Shaperit. Where did you get these? If you wish, you can make your words as false as the documents you bear. Not entirely. There were two promised deals, but their terms differed significantly from what is presented here. It appears the scripter altered the dates and locations of the agreements to make them identical. The prince consulted me before his father died. He wanted to know about King Bimo, the last king to rule during a blight. I told him Bimo made many changes during his rule. The assembly was even disbanded for a two-year period. Bimo declared that, in times of war, the warrior caste answered directly to the king and all voting was suspended. Balin seemed quite interested. The Shaprit do not vote. We simply record history as it happens. I cannot speak my opinions. History can be changed with a careless word. I am the man to ask if you wish to access the memories of the ancestors. What is it you would know? You are an outsider, Warden, but not outside the law. I hope you will not do anything to challenge the stability of Orzammar. And I'm off. And I'm off.
Lord Balan is the voice of change and defense. Lord Haramont is the voice of stagnation and ruin. News of the hour! Three more clans endorse Lord Harumont as the true voice of the Dwarven folk. Is Paragon Hood far behind? So, I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I... I can't imagine what you mean. I, I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing your protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens. That no one decides to just... burn everything in your store. My store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T tell Jarvie I'll get her money. I... Jarvie is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carta's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Whoa, whoa! All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I... I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's, uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals, and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. These castless, they're all the same. Beggars, thugs, and murderers, everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford, I assure you.
I once drank a thimble of dwarven ale. Told him I don't understand why the Provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their fear. I trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? <laughs> so you come to Tapsters? I guess you're not asking for anything official, or you'd be at the Shaper It. But I can certainly give you a mole's eye view. It's the Bureau of all the Shapers in Orzammar, led by the Shaper of Memories. If you're from the surface, I guess you'd call them scholars. They keep all of our records, laws, genealogies. You got questions about Orzammar's history, and don't mind answers in words as long as your leg, that's the place to go. He'd be in the Diamond Quarter. Pardon, the Nobles District. Upstairs from here, however you call it. The Nobles stay upstairs, except when they're slumming. You'll find the Assembly there, the Palace, the Shaperit, and plenty of estates. Down from here is just Dust Town or the Mines, so my recommendation is avoid. It's not part of the city, just some old tunnels where the Castles build their nest. No one goes there if they can help it. But if you want fun, your best bet is the Proving. It's a chance for all the best fighters in Orzammar to test their skills. There's a tournament today. Arenas between here and the Diamond Quarter. I? Maybe I can help. He should be by the trash barrel. Easy to spot. Everyone gives him a wide berth. In dwarven Did you need something else, Warden? With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines, we should be able to serve your needs. <laughs> what do you have? Someone's feeling generous. A round of Alentis Red for everyone! This, my friend, is the Paragon of Ales. The best your money can buy. Enjoy. And in the results are other than women. Wow. Now some call out no room. They're everywhere! I can't take it! What? Get away! You'll change like the rest! Monsters hidden in all my friends! They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't. I hope they have a nug on the fire. I'm starving. What do you want? Hey, I heard about you, Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. Someone saw you talking to Vartag Gavorn, and now it's all over that you've been doing dirty errands for Balin. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. Power-hungry Deep Lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. City's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the Deep Roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. Why do you care, huh? You looking to uncover all her secrets? Is that what Balin wants? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the ancient's technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? You are looking for it. Of course, that's all anyone cares about. Well, 
Sawed off and sawed your mother, too. I need a bleeding drink. You keep on your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogren. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? You don't get far as the youngest and most outspoken member of the Assembly without keeping an ear to the stone. I heard there was a Grey Warden in town. No offense, but you kind of stand out. Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the assembly? I'm always like that one. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamara so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. I doubt either candidate has been outside the Diamond Quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Badly. Oh, you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Oh, well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it, I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And they'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. Otherwise, my whole house will be humiliated. Doesn't make a difference anyway, one's as bad as the next. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service.
So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Tentry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. <laughs> I would tell them that I was just checking. Oh, you never know, right? I... no, I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. <laughs> You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. This no doubt leads out to the deep roads, the ancient passages that once led to the other dwarven kingdoms. What's this? An elf? I'm sorry. But I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozamar doesn't mean there are any fewer in the deep roads. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far, except to... Except during blights. Ancestors save us, if that's what's happening. What anyone knows? She went out there with her entire house, and she's never coming back. You don't think maybe she's still there, Commander? She is a paragon, after all. And now she's an ancestor. No one lasts two years in the tunnels. Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. A few outposts. Legion of the Dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes <laughs> or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Best of luck. <laughs> 